Hello boys and girls, it's Mr. C here again. Today we're going to continue with our year 2 Supermind. Today we're going to continue with our unit 6, the old house. This is our last video of the unit because we are going to do revision in page 81. So boys and girls, are you ready? Let us start now. So boys and girls, this is our page 81. Let us start now. Look at the picture. What is this? This is a place to eat, it's a hall, a dining room, or a cellar. Hmm, this is a dining room. Okay, there is or there are three bedrooms. How is it? There is or there are. So we have learned this before, right? Three bedrooms means there's a lot. Then we use there are three bedrooms. So if only one, there is a bedroom. If we have more than one, we use there are. Okay, number three. Where is the lizard in the song? Do you still remember the song? Come on, come on and see me in my little house. Remember this song? Where's the lizard in the song? There's a snake in the cellar. There's a lizard. There's a lizard in my bedroom. Yes, in my bedroom. And number four, how many cats are there in the back? How many cats? One, two, three, four. There are four cats in the back. Who isn't scared of the house? Remember our story at the house. Who is the one go into the house? Remember? Misty. Boys and girls, let us continue with number six. How many rats are there in the house? How many rats are there? So let us count. Mm, there are nine rats. There are nine rats in the house. Let us continue with number seven. Circle the words with the different sound. Remember the sound H? Hat, help is sound. And for C, shoes is sh, sh sound. So the answer is C. Number eight, the last question. Where do you find coral? A, in the ocean, B, in the mountains, and C, in the jungle. The answer is in the ocean. So boys and girls, I hope you can manage to follow me. Let us proceed. So boys and girls, let us continue with our workbook in page 81. Draw and write examples of what you know. Like for number one, there is a jellyfish in the ocean. Hmm. So actually this unit 6, we have learned a few grammar items as well. Like for example, they are. If you don't like to write in long form, you can actually write in short form. They are two lizards in my bedroom. Oh, in my bedroom. There are two lizards in my bedroom. You can draw your lizard here and of course you can color as well. So what else we learn in unit 6? Okay, for number 3 and number 4, um, how about you draw a goat? 
or anything. So what you're going to write? Maybe you can start your sentence with "Is there?" We learned this right in Unit Six. Is there a goat in the ocean? So, Mister C, what I should draw? You can actually draw a goat in the mountains, or else you can draw something else in the ocean. Like for example, you draw a shark. So you ask question: Is there a goat in the ocean? How are you going to answer? No, there is. A... So if your question is: Is there a goat in the mountain? Yes, there is. So when you write answer yes, there is, you have to draw something that is related with your question. What else we can ask? Remember, are they? Hmm, are they any crocodiles? Crocodiles in my living room? Are there any crocodiles in my living room? Hmm, no, they aren't. So depends on how you want to write about it and based on your picture. So if you don't have crocodiles in your living room, you can just draw a living room here without any animals. So you can say no, they aren't. So if they are crocodiles in your living room, you can draw a living room with a crocodiles in it. Then you can say yes, they are. Or you can say yes, there is. If only one crocodile, then you say yes, there is. If there are more than one, then you can say yes, they are, and so on. So, boys and girls, that's all for our learning today. And today is the last video in Unit Six. So, boys and girls, if you like my video, do give me a like and subscribe to Jing Jing YouTube channel, and don't forget to share this video around with your friends. So boys and girls, I hope to see you all again in my next video. Bye.